Murph AI. Hello, welcome to Murph Studio. In this video, you'll learn how to import and organize your script within Murph to generate high quality voiceovers. Head to Murph Studio and click on Create a New Project. Pick your use case from the given options. Click on Create Project, and we are good to go. The first step in creating a voiceover from text is to import your script into the studio. You can add or import your script into the studio in three different ways. By typing the text, by copy-pasting, or by uploading the document containing the script. The script editor here helps you organize and modify your script and the generated voiceover. You now see a block containing a text field and a few other options above it. This is called a block. You can type your script here in the text field. The options on the top panel of the block are the voice settings. They help you in making your voiceover sound more natural. Blocks represent paragraphs and can be broken down further into smaller sections called subblocks. Each subblock corresponds to a sentence in the paragraph, but you can also have multiple sentences in the same subblock. Remember, subblocks have a maximum limit of 1000 characters. If the limit is exceeded, simply press enter to split your subblock into two. To add more text to your script, click on Add Block to create more blocks and press Enter to create more subblocks. That's it. Creating scripts for voiceovers directly in the studio is as simple as that. Using this method, you can create voiceovers for presentations on the go. This is one of the easiest and quickest ways of generating voiceovers in the studio. All you need to do is to copy the text from your script source. Click on the text box and paste your script. You will now see the Paste Preference dialog box on the screen. You can split your script either by paragraph or by sentence. Splitting by paragraphs would split each of your paragraphs into blocks. You'll notice that the paragraphs are further split into sub-blocks. Enable the Don't Split Sentence option if you don't want your paragraph to be split into sentences. This option is best suited for audiobooks and podcasts. On the other hand, splitting by sentence splits each of your sentences into blocks. This option is meant for users who are working with videos and conversational scripts. Splitting by sentences will help with the time syncing of video clips with the voiceover. Click on the Paste Script button to paste your script into the script editor. The third and final way you can import your script into Murph Studio is by uploading the script directly. Murph supports document upload in DocX, TXT, and SRD formats. Click on the Import Script option in the side panel to upload and import your script. You can simply drag and drop your script into the window or select the file from your computer directory. You will now see the Import Preference window on your screen. It is similar to the way the Paste Preference window works. Choose whether you would like to split the script into paragraphs or into sentences and click on Import Script. This successfully imports your script into Murph Studio. The studio also lets you generate voiceovers from SRD files in accordance with the timestamps. When you upload an SRD file into Murph Studio, you are directed to the subtitle import mode. Here, the blocks are created based on timestamps in the SRD file and the durations of the blocks are frozen. This ensures that the generated audio doesn't exceed the duration of the original audio. This is extremely useful for creating dubbing for videos and for editing an existing voiceover and rendering it in a different voice. If the audio durations do not match, the studio offers suggestions to resolve and sync the audio. For example, it suggests you to increase the speed or reduce the text to reduce the audio duration. You can also go ahead with the new duration if time syncing isn't important. Click on the Save button to finalize your script. Now that your script is imported, 
you can generate the voiceover either by using the default voice settings or by changing the voice settings to fit your requirements. And voila, click on the export button to use the generated voiceover for your script. Once you have typed, pasted, or uploaded your script, click on the play button next to the blocks and sub blocks to generate the voiceovers at the respective levels. To generate the voiceover for the entire script, click on the hollow play button in the bottom panel. This will generate the voiceover for the whole script. Once generated, the play buttons will take on a solid fill. You can now click on them to listen to the generated voice at all the three levels. Why do we use it? It is a long established fact that a reader will be distracted by the readable contents of a page by looking its layout. This concludes the video on the three different modes of script input into the studio. In this video, you learned how to type your script directly into the studio, how to copy paste your script from an existing script source, and lastly, how to import the script as a document in different formats. That's it for this video. Be sure to check out our other videos.